Yadi hami hadis, and welcome to a whatever this is. This is kind of a build vlog of some sorts. I am redoing my entire PC setup uh, today, and I'm looking at it right now instead of looking at you, which is very inappropriate. No, not inappropriate, but bad manners or something, I don't even know. Uh, anyway, so I thought that I'd show you a before and after, and maybe some in between. So here I am recording, and uh, I'm using my phone, so the audio is terrible, the video is terrible. I'm sorry about that, I don't really have anything better. Uh, so, and I didn't really want to buy anything better just for this. Uh, so here we go, let me show you how it looks like today, or in the beginning of today. We have a bunch of stuff. It might not look, it's, it's not terrible. I mean, it's not terrible. Uh, but my biggest gripes here is that the table is way, way too deep. It's a terribly deep table. It's uh, 20 centimeters deeper than the new table. Also, I have this little piece of furniture here just to have my table on it, and it's too much. So I'm going to combine this table and that piece of furniture by throwing them both out and replacing it with a bigger table that actually is... Uh, it should go to about here or something, so it should be shorter, and it will actually go all the way to uh, the bed, which I didn't make for this video, because I'm a terrible, terrible person. Uh, but there is a bunch of clutter here, so I'm going to fix that, hopefully, with this new setup. Get a better place for these things, I need to clean up this area to do that. And uh, the plan? To remove everything, place in the new table, take that case, and um, remove the PC from that case, and put it into this case. And in the end, have the PC up here. Place the uh, X52s, these guys. Place those guys up there when I'm not using them. Uh, this is currently the captain's cabinet with the, uh, all the booty I have. You can see gold, gold, gold. That's silver, don't care about that. With parrots and our uh, liquid of choice or poison of choice, I guess. Uh, so there we go. That is basically it. If you want to see the new stuff, you'll have to wait because they're still in boxes. So we have a chair, a table, we have a uh, replacement for this. And that is basically it. So I'm going to stop dra dragging out time. Uh, I think I've told you enough about this project. I'll give you some updates uh, throughout wh whatever I'm doing. So there we go. Everything has been removed and cleaned and it uh, is looking pretty empty. Uh, actually, this room is a lot bigger than it was before. Well, except if you look over my bed, it's really, I have no idea uh, how I am planning to go to sleep if I don't finish this, which I assume that I will. We have the peripherals over here. We have audio. We have display things. Next step, disassemble the table, get rid of that. Place that somewhere where I can move uh, move the stuff in it into the new one. I just wanted for you to be in this special moment. This very special moment. They are all attached by like half a turn or something. That's all they were attached with. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I think these are attached with the Inzix. Inzix, I think that's what it's called. Magic World. No, it's not called Inzix. We call it in six in Swedish, but you don't. Um, you probably call it some, something else. Tell me in the comment section below what you call it. Am I way too zoomed in? I probably way too zoomed in. I have no idea. I haven't, seen, haven't even looked at the footage yet. Let's see. Yep, that is not lo no longer connected. That is perfect Mundo. Mmm, toolbox. What do I need? Do I need this? The magic toolbox that always knows what it is I want. Let's get to work. So, there we go. That is the desk in place. Uh, the, that's just the case, in case you were wondering about that. <clears throat> I placed the uh, the peripherals, uh, well, I guess the, the keyboard and display on the desk to make sure that there was actually enough room for... Uh, for everything because it felt very tight uh, the depth of the keyboard or the the of the table the same is the case with the case i just wanted to make sure that there was enough space behind the case to um, 
to drag all the cables down into the cable management hole that I will be drilling very soon. Uh, I have this uh, 79, 79 millimeter drill bit uh, and I have this bit of cable management marvel which is just a plastic ring that you put into the hole to make it look not terrible. Uh, also this cable management box it will not actually be going here. Uh, that was the plan from the beginning but I noticed that once it's actually assembled or if you attach the lid it's actually strong enough so you can you, you, you don't get the lid loose so I could take the lid ah if I can get it loose yeah it's, it's at, attached fairly well I can take this lid and I can attach it to the bottom of the table and um, Imagine the cable hole coming through there, <laughs> using all my limbs as uh, pointing fingers here. Uh, but then I, I attach the lid permanently, and uh, then I can take the actual box itself and just click it onto the lid uh, by just raising it up and click, put all the cables inside, uh, probably before uh, connecting it to the lid, but hopefully that way I can have the box below the table and I won't see anything on the top. Uh, cats, are you, uh, are cats allowed on the table? Charlie? 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 Psst, psst. <laughs> so there we go, the next part of the project. But still, look at it, it's so beautiful, I like it. I love it a lot. Is uh, The next part of the project is to transplant uh, the PC into the new case and I think I'm going to uh, to be patient about building the next PC or uh, assembling uh, the, the secondary PC because I don't, don't really have a purpose in doing that so it can wait. You know it pains me a little to have to do this because it wasn't very long ago that I just went in and fixed the uh, cable management in this guy. And now I have to remove all of it. Though I, I guess I'm, I'm doing it because maybe the next guy will be even better. But anyway, there we go. There's the power supply. There's the motherboard. There's the fans, the drives. I need to remove them from their base uh, because the new case have, well, of course, its own case of base and they, it has a special SSD uh, case as well. So I think that's that's most of the stuff that I need from this guy. So there we go. I'm not sure if you noticed in the last uh, clip with the um, the old case over there, but the uh, the super long gigabytes didn't fit. But in this case, since the cage stops, let's see where will it be. It will be about there. Actually, it does have have a ridiculous amount of space. So it fits much more neatly into this case than the last one, because in the last one I had to actually put it into the case like this and then put it straight so I could actually fit it into the case. Look at that, there we go, we're not 100% done. Well, I guess if you want a functioning computer that you're 100% done. And all that is left now is the NCXT uh, LED strip, it's an orange LED strip, it looks like it's a, a PCI slot actually and it's a Molex connector. So it appears that probably I'm the weird one for not having a Molex connector because apparently you have to have one and it, I hadn't used one in years. I don't even know what uses Molex anymore. Uh, well uh, now I know what uses Molex but anyway since I don't have that connector, I'll have to go get one, and that will have to be tomorrow, because, uh, well, when it looks like this in Sweden, nothing's open. Well, I get Mac McDonald's always open, um, which has absolutely nothing to do with this. We're gonna close this off, and that's hard to do with one hand. So, uh, closing this off, connecting everything together, and uh, you will be there when I press the button. So, we'll see if this starts. And there we go, the things are connected. First of all, I'll have to uh, do that on the back side, see if we can take a look. Do we see anything? No, we don't. Well, maybe a little. But pressing the button 
On the front, focus first camera. Absolutely nothing. Whatsoever. Did I turn it on? Hello? You are connected to the wall, correctly? Yes? Seems like we have some trouble doing to make such. I think I may have found a problem. This is this the um, hard drive LED? And uh, it's connected to the power pin. And I need the manual. Manual! Where are you? Help me. In Deutsch? Nein. Nicht sprechen die Deutsch. Ich bin haben das in Flaggen. Here, we have the page of knowledge. There we go, let's try one more time. I see blue lights. Look, wind force. I see red lights as well. Oh, that's the audio driver. And it says something, 39. That's probably the temperature. Let's see, well, looks like usual. Anyway, uh, it seems like we have been successful. And here we have the front. Looks like it's on fire! Uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully it will look better once, uh, wins, or once we have the lights. Wash! Don't step on the gables. Uh, once we have the lights actually on, I mean, they, they're just lying in the bottom there. Oh, such a beautiful setup! Well, what happened over here? I had to move everything. I realized that I won't be able to finish this today, so I have to store everything there and shift my focus to the chair, which shall be assembled by Charlie. So I can just focus on being a cameraman. Uh, and even just doing that, I'm doing a terrible job. So uh, go, yeah, Charlie, just attach them to there. Yes, you have the perfect idea. Exactly as it says in the manual. So, um,. Seems like he is getting a little bit distracted. No, he's making sure he's uh, read the manual. Uh, no, those are not the parts you need. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's the wheels. It's the wheels. Yeah, they were in the bag. Yeah, I've already taken them out. And you're sleeping on the manual. Okay, seems like I'll have to do this myself.